Hello, I'm Todd Hicks. And I'm Joe Rimmelsbach. And on behalf of OTF and the Department of Plant Pathology, welcome to this week's Surf Tips. Well, weather is no surprise or no big update for anybody. It's uh, that old adage of one step forward and two steps back. We seem to get one good day followed by a couple of bad days of wet weather, overcast stuff, uh, days that aren't helping us dry out whatsoever. So on the disease front, on the golf courses, what we're finding is uh, the majority of the time is dollar spot. Um, I heard a couple comments, people talked about they were surprised they weren't seeing mycelium, but the dollar spot's increasing. You don't need to see the mycelium for dollar spot to increase. Um, I, I've seen it numerous times uh, over and over again. It, it likes this weather, it likes the wetness, um, the turf's under stress, it's going to increase. We've preached over and over again the last couple of weeks, shorten up your windows, use good products, right time, right place, kind of theology for dollar spot. Other diseases, leaf spot still seems to be a hassle. Uh, we're still seeing um, a little bit of red thread. Uh, it's been nice and cool and wet. But the, the patch diseases, summer patch, and thracnose, brown patch, those are pretty much decided with these cooler temperatures. A key thing on brown patch, if you had it, during that outbreak a couple of weeks ago. If we get a little humidity and the temperature rises, it will reoccur rather quickly. So you need to make sure you've got something if that's a worry for protection. But other than that, not a whole lot on the disease front that's going to be new and unusual for you folks. Most of you are trying to catch up and mow. Watch your clippings, spread those out. That'll help increase disease if you don't do that. Uh, the other big news on the, on the golf course front is, as far as in, in our world would be moss and algae. We're hearing lots and lots of complaints on algae. Uh, remember, if it gets really bad, where it's it's forming a, a, an actual layer, you're going to have to do something to, once you treat that or before you treat it to mechanically disturb that algae layer. Uh, it can f form kind of a pan. Uh, once it dies or you, you take care of it, that pan's still there. The turf won't break through it. So it's a little bit of mechanical um, injury to that algae would be uh, really good if you want to fill back in and uh, get over that problem. What are you seeing on the high cut, Joe? Well, normally I don't take exception with uh, Todd's comments, but I'm gonna say one thing today. He talks about sunshine followed by a couple days of rain. It seems like we have weeks of rain, and so it's really wet out there. I'm trying and, to remain positive, Joe. <laughs> okay, it, but it's really, really wet, and that's creating some good things, but it's also creating some problems. I don't have a whole lot either. Uh, two things I wanna talk about, though, specifically would be slime mold and just, um, questions about this, um, and I don't call it black layer, but very almost anaerobic conditions, especially in golf greens. Um, slime mold, we got several uh, cases of it reported over the last several weeks from all parts of the state, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Cleveland. Um, I'll try to get Brian some pictures of this. It's very superficial. Um, you can just take your hand or a knife or something and scrape over the leaf tissue. It does not penetrate the leaf tissue. It's just using the leaf tissue to grow up on. Um, it's you know driven by temperatures and, and wet conditions, and it can be all different colors. Uh, you know, uh, they can be a pinkish or reddish colors. I've seen yellows, grays, different colors. So it's kind of a nuisance thing, but it's really uh, superficial. The other thing I want to mention is we're getting golf samples in from golf courses on greens, questioning anthracnose. Uh, many of you out there are excellent now at looking for the signs and symptoms of anthracnose. Um, and then getting these samples in, I'm not seeing any anthracnose now, but if you peel about the, back the plant on poanias at the base, or if you look at the stolons on, uh, on bent grasses, they will appear a black color. And what this is, is not anthracnose, but it's just anaerobic bacteria growing on the surface of these lower parts of the stem and the upper roots. Um, if you cut these samples open, oftentimes they have that anaerobic smell like rotten eggs. And as you scrape this off very carefully, the, the root oftentimes or the stem tissue is alive, at least for now. So in those conditions, you know, I don't have any magic secrets, uh, but you know, a lot of people are, out there now are, are spiking, needle tining, anything to get a little oxygen in that surface and to kind of perforate, like Todd was talking about, kind of the sealed up surface. Uh, there's a lot of club events going on at golf courses. People are, are doing more rolling and mowing for speed but this kind of really contributes to this kind of sealing the surface and it's perfect for algae uh, expansion and growth in this anaerobic condition. So check your roots, take good careful notes of the depth of your rooting, do anything you can to get more air into these things. 
and I want to wish you the best of luck. And if you have samples or questions, you can send us send us uh, uh, samples or call us. I do apologize a little bit um, when I get emails with photos or questions. Sometimes it's very difficult to work with, and so uh, I may not give you a real straight answer or clear-cut answer. But we'll be happy to work with you any way we can. So have a great week. Remember, as bad as it is right now, it could be hot. Uh, if it turns hot on us with these wet conditions, uh, we'll no longer be doing these turf tips. So we'll be busy visiting you guys in person. So have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you next week.